Welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you've had a really good week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is what do they think and feel, your people, what did your people think and feel when they last saw you or last communicated with you? So it could be over text message, it could be when you last saw them face to face, whatever that last kind of bit of contact was with your person, we're going to go into what they were thinking and feeling at that point in time. So whether you've had an argument, whether it was goodbye forever, really dramatic, whether it was um, ghosting, whatever that uh, last bit of communication you had with your person, we're going to be going into their thoughts and their feelings about that moment in time. Before I get going, there's just two things I wanted to say to you. Um, I wanted to thank you all ever so much once again uh, for your love and condolences that you sent me and my family over the last couple of weeks. Um, coming out of it now, it was a, it was a really tough couple of weeks, um, but you know I'm back to work, firing on all cylinders again. And um, so I just wanted to thank you all for supporting and bearing with us. Um, and I know I've said it in the previous readings, but I haven't really kind of communicated it verbally because I wasn't in the right space to do that. So I wanted to communicate it verbally with you today and say thank you ever so much for your love and support and the second thing is with this 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 virus that we've got going around I just wanted to send um, you guys all I wondered if we could all kind of pitch in together and send a big bunch of universal healing out to everyone that is struggling with this virus at the moment I know that it's hit my local town um, I know that it's kind of spreading around my local town so I'm being extra cautious when we go to the gym and things and I know uh, some of you guys have had it, I know that um, and then I also know that some of you guys are under quarantine as well so I just wanted to say can we all send out a bit of universal love to those that are struggling um, try and get this healing energy out there to people see if we can get it cleared up a little bit quicker and that was what I wanted to say and if you have got it, uh, keep resting up, keep drinking your fluids and I hope it's going to be, I hope it's going to ease up for you soon. <laughs> okay, so this is deck number one and this is deck number two. This is my new deck. This is uh, by Baba Studios. It got recommended to me. Now it's a little bit creepy. So if you're into creepy decks, I quite like a creepy deck every now and again. This is a creepy one. Uh, this is an older deck that I've had for a long, long time. But this one isn't quite so creepy. So I want to go where you are initially drawn to with your deck. It's teeny tiny, this one. Uh, where you're initially drawn to, your first instinct on it. Um, think about you, and then let's think about your person. And if, when you think about your person, can you feel your energy from your heart being pushed into the deck? Number one, number two. Okay, let's go. So I know as always it's a pain to watch the shuffling, but if we watch the shuffling, then it sets up the energy correct uh, for when we read. So what we're gonna do is go into your guys' energy, we just want to skip to the juicy gossip, but if you do that, your energy don't come in the cards, so you don't pick up on the strongest mutual energy. Um, think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear, my right ear is normally the higher vibrational guides, my left ear is my, my close guides. Um, so through the higher vibrational guys coming in, these to be like ascended masters, angels, etc. I am hearing uh, this is like a paradise lost kind of energy. So um, there is a feeling of grief, there is a feeling of loss, there is a feeling of kind of mourning going on. So can you tell me what were their people thinking when they last saw their person or communicated with them? What were their thoughts? So we're going to do five for thoughts and five for feelings. They're so teeny tiny, they're so cute too. What are their thoughts? What were their thoughts? Problem is, a teeny tiny dax is the kind of jump out in a cluster. So I try and take, I, I, I never, if there's ever more than two that jump out, I don't take them anyway. But I only really work with jumpers. If you were in front of me, sometimes I'd be like, oh, when I did local readings, I'd be like, oh, pull a card. But most of the time, when I'm a bit funny about people touching my decks. So it's easier uh, when you ask spirit and the universe to make them jump. What were their feelings? Two. What were their feelings? Three. 
four, five. So, okay, we've got six. Okay, so let's start off with the thought processes going on. So, what your person was thinking when they last saw or communicated with you is that they felt, think they were thinking that the situation has got to come to some kind of close, all right? Um, their emotions, they were starting to feel a bit more level-headed with their emotions. They were acting more on a logical side of things, but it did hit them hard and they did feel this kind of grief, like we said at the start. They did feel that there was kind of grief going on, this feeling of loss. Um, but the reason why that was happening is because they were basing what was going on more on a logical point of view than from an emotional point of view and this can be again if you communicated it over text message there was a feeling of loss from your person they're feeling that they'd kind of let you go a little bit knowing that you were upset over the situation they held quite a good mask on um they were really like oh well you know logic 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 but actually if they took their mask off there was a great feeling of sadness a great feeling of loss, a great feeling of remorse, a great feeling of grief and they've been really kind of sucking up since then, feeling quite sorry about the situation. Uh, they were thinking it through for quite some time um, and even now this situation is still haunting them so don't freak out by the creepy deck but if you can see in the background you have this kind of ghost woman here this will be your person standing at the forefront and you are still at the back of their mind so they are still thinking about you you have this castle behind which would be like all your hopes all your dreams and this castle just kind of crumbled in front of you these towers here um, and it's because a lot of it is because your person was acting on logic, kind of pushing you away, um, trying to put themselves in, in this self-protect, self-preserve, I'm going to look after myself. Um, and they've they stepped away from the situation and it's left you feeling in this kind of ghost energy. They could have literally ghosted you, but there was this ghost energy going on. And with that ghost energy happening, it means that you are haunting them as well. So they haven't got over the situation. They might be pretending that they are over the situation, but they're not. Deep down, underneath it all, underneath, I love that saying, it always uh, brings no doubt into my head. They are feeling very sad very very sad over the situation and with that as well we have the three of swords your heartbreak card they're thinking it through they're wondering have i made the right choice have i made the right decision here and um, we some some of you guys you wanted different things um, some of you guys, you wanted the same thing, but your person was being a bit of an a-hole. Um, you know, there's a variety of situations that have happened that have caused it, but your person was thinking about this heartache and this pain. So there was a great feeling of sadness and loss here. And like I said, even if they are pretending that everything is great in their life and they're putting pictures of them all over Facebook and Instagram, like, yeah, look at me, I'm amazing. Um, I'm getting over you not the case <laughs> it's not the case so just don't panic about it they're, they're feeling very very sad over the situation what they're trying to do at this moment in time is kind of make the best of a bad deal and um, that is a song i just got a song with that you make the best of a bad deal um that is what your person is trying to do they're trying to um pretend that it's not real you know that's what they're doing pretending it didn't really happen and on here you have these kind of two collar doves as well so these two collar doves resemble the love between the two of you and one of them i think is, is kind of passed out or, or or passed over one of those two things um, and they're looking at the love that they have between the two of you um, and again with remorse and with regret and the emotions the water is still in the background so there is still this strong love that runs between you both and even if they want to think that there isn't it's not true you know um they are wondering as well if there is a way back to you now some of them are thinking um a lot of you guys have done really well and you've stayed in your power and you haven't gone beggy and you haven't gone needy and you've gone like right if you're going to treat me like that i am going to walk away from this um but they still have hope that you're going to come back and be like love me be with me please 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 because they don't actually want to let you go it's kind of a little bit of reverse psychology going on spirit is saying um that they felt the right thing at that point in time was to distance themselves walk away ghost whatever equivalent um and they felt well you'll be back anyway you'll come back you'll come begging a majority of you some of you guys have but the majority of you haven't you've stayed in your power and that has confused the living daylights out of your person because they can feel that there is a break in this situation that there is big changes and that you have not uh, have had enough and spirit are saying to me um as well there's this quote which um 
they're bringing to my attention. And it says that you will always love a person in the way that you want to be loved. And then you'll get to that point, to that brick wall, and then you will love them in the way that they are loving you. And that's what's happened here, is that you guys have hit this brick wall, and you thought, no, you know what, I'm gonna step away from it, and I am gonna love them in the way that they've been treating me. And it's kind of like this karmic energy, this karmic debt has been, rep been repaid through that. Now, your person is thinking that there is still a way that this can work. So the reverse, this is kind of this reverse psychology thing going on. They didn't realise how much this was going to affect them. They didn't realise how sad they were going to feel. Like I said, they were acting on logic. They thought, this is the right thing. This is what we want at this moment in time. Um, and since it's kind of happened, since you guys have walked away, stepped away, yada, 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 um, there is this such a great feeling of remorse, regret, loss, um, still your people are acting on logic at the moment, but they're thinking, if we give this enough time, then you not watching will come back to me. You'll come back and you'll be like, oh, love me, be with me. And I'll be, I'll be the one in control. I'll be the one in the power. The reality of it is, it's not actually going to kind of be like that. It's more likely to be the other way around. But you're, the more you stand in your power and the more you stand in your kick-ass, sexy, sassy energy, your person um, is really going to miss you and really long for you and that is when this communication from them will come back towards you. So no, it isn't over. Um, Spirit said to me the word dormant again, it's like this relationship is currently asleep. It will come back round. Um, but the thought, your person's thoughts when they last saw you uh, was they were very sad over the situation but they were acting on logic, thought they were making the right choice. Um, and there was a lot of grief that has ensued from that, you know? That's what their thoughts were when they last saw you. Right choice, sadness. Um, but they felt that they, it was, again, they felt that they were doing the right thing. Um, it's only now, in hindsight, that they've realised, actually, there could have been another way around this. It didn't have to be the way it has been. Now, if you guys have been ghosted, uh, Spirit are saying that, uh, give them the space, it's kind of that saying of give them uh, enough rope you know, let them walk it, give them, yeah, you know, give them that time, give them that space, um, and they will come back to you and this role reversal will happen here. There's also a strong sexual energy going on in the thought process, but the thought process has been kind of overwhelmed with grief, but there is a lot of passion kind of coming through. Your relationship with your person is often dictated and navigated through your passionate energy, and sometimes that can mean that these massive eruptions happen between the two of you. Okay, your person's feelings when they last saw you. Uh, again, it's like they felt that they were making the right choice. They felt that they were making the right decision. This card is well creepy. Some of, uh, sometimes the uh, children are being brought into this, okay? So if you guys are broken up because, I don't know, if you're a third party and there's kids involved or if you're wanting kids and they're not wanting kids, um, there is a physical reason um, in these feelings while you guys haven't come together and that's not all of you that's some of you but children are being brought into this your person uh, was feeling that they really needed some time by themselves they needed some time to reflect on everything it was very very intense between the both of you you know like I said the passion was flowing it was high and um, it was up a moment down a minute forwards, backwards, round and round in circles, um, you were getting frustrated, your person was getting pissed off and it kind of just ended, you know, it's come to this ooh moment and this fear has stepped in. So your person at that moment in time when they last saw you or communicated with you were, think, well, were feeling that they needed a bit of space, they needed some time to process everything that was going on, get their head in order. Um, now we have a few nines going on over here. Um, so the nines are saying again this cycle hasn't quite finished it's still going on, um, but there is fear-based energy stepping forward. There is this feeling of having to constantly fight, constantly, uh, you know, fight for one another, really, or you guys fighting for them if they're not, they haven't really done much. Um, but there's this feeling of fighting, this feeling of protection, this feeling of I need to protect my heart because I actually feel vulnerable with this person, which is you lot. I could get really, really hurt here, so it's better to kind of cut my nose off, spite my face, and deal with the consequences of it afterwards. Um, a lot of nightmares kind of coming up again this ghost is haunting there is this this massive haunting going on so even though your person might still feel that this is the right choice that you guys have had this distance and this downtime they are still thinking about you they can't switch off they think that they can they thought that they could they thought no you know what I'm gonna move on I'm gonna get on with my life everything's gonna be great um, and I'll put it on Facebook to show the world that you know what I really am doing it but I'm really not 
I'm really not. <laughs> I'm still thinking about you. I'm still feeling about you. I still care about you. Um, and I just like a little bit of peace from the situation. So they really, in their own feelings for you, at the time that you last communicated or saw them, they felt like they needed a break. Um, and that's part of the reason why they would have pushed you away as well. Acting on the logical side again, that's coming forward. Um, but there's also this fear-based energy, this strong sexual desire between the two of you. They know that they're not going to find, they, they're scared of this, but they know that they are not going to find anyone that is going to fill the void that you have left behind. That's what Spirit is saying. And it's really hitting home at this moment in time. In this moment in time, in the next coming months, it's really going to hit home that this void has been left behind and they can't get it, anyone to fill it. They might go on dates if they're single, but each date they'll sit there and go, oh, it's not you. Oh, she had, well, that's really stereotypical. She had uh, a way about her like this. She spoke like this. She did this while she was sleeping, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then this is largely talking about a breakup or, or non-communication, but if your person is trying to move on from the situation, take heart that it's not that easy. It's not that easy. They will try, uh, potentially they will try to move forward um, to protect themselves again, to try and feel that they can step away from you because you have this very strong hold over them and they don't know how to deal with this hold. So when this hold really takes a grip of them, they're like, oh, I need, to, I need to move on, I need to kind of break away from this cycle. And if your person has been a bit nasty towards you um, and said some very sweeping or, or quite bitter remarks, spirit will say to you or spirit want to say to you, have you ever thought that if they could get into a place where they were like, I don't really like you that much, then they could get over you? That's what's happening. So if they've been nasty to you and things like that, it's because they simply want to get over you. It's not a reflection on you and them and it isn't going to work. Your person is hook lined and sinkered over you. And the last time that they saw you and com or communicated with you, um, it was very logical. It was very straight to the point, very, this isn't gonna work, or I want this in my life, you can't fulfill that role, or I'm gonna ghost you because this isn't really what I want. But they're not gonna be able to break away from it. They can't, they already haven't. You know, even if they think that they have broken away from it, they are still clinging on, still holding on to hope that this will come back around. So that is deck number one. Very uh, sad, sad energy, loss, bereavement, grief, um, logic, acting on logic. And now these emotions are really taking that over them and they're feeling that they've made these, these very bad choices or that they didn't really have a choice at that moment in time because you wanted different things. But now they're thinking, well, actually, there could have been another way around this. Give them time, give them time. Keep standing in your power because you standing in your power, um, you know, you not running after them, not chasing after them is giving them the, the real, what's happening, what's she doing or he doing, what are you guys doing, what's going on, why aren't you here, why aren't you messaging me? You should be messaging me, Bernard, what's happening? Gives you that real power-based energy. Okay, that's deck number one. I'm gonna have a breather, have some water and I'm gonna do deck number two. Okay guys, so deck number two, let's do this. I just have to have a sip of water because uh, when you talk as much as I do, my, your throat gets really, really dry. So here we go. Can we get into the people watching's energy? So this is their thoughts and feelings the last time that they either saw you or communicated with you. Think about your person. We're gonna go into the strongest mutual energy between you all uh, to go into everyone's energy and it pulls out that strong energy. So if it doesn't resonate, it could be that you're not part of the strongest mutual energy um, or that it will come up at a later date. Right, uh, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their person. So we're going to do five for their thoughts, five for their feelings. So can you tell me what was their person thinking when they last communicated as such? It's when you last communicated, isn't it? Whether it's over text, whether it's over face-to-face. Um, -face. What are they thinking about them? Um, so I've just got a song, I've got um, In This City, uh, I can't remember who that was by, I'm hit. was it by Igloo, someone, it was years old, found love round here in this city, what are they thinking about their person when they last saw them, what were their thoughts, 
four, five. Ooh, I love this stuff. This is one of my oldest decks. What are they feeling about the person? My very, very first tarot deck that I used for years and years, I haven't used on a public reading uh, yet, but it's so battered and bruised. And this was my second one, and I took really good care of it. The first one must have done hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of people's readings. What were they feeling when they last saw their person? Okay, so the first thing that Spirit are saying to me over here is that I'm getting really drawn to the number six, and it's not on many of these cards, but the number six is coming forward quite strongly in my energy. So this is suggesting that something's going to happen in around June time. So it could be, it feels to be June for the majority of you, but it could be six weeks, it could be six months, June, anything along those lines. So if you guys are kind of at this stalemate, you'll be looking at, at this six for things to come back into your favour. Um, it could even be six days for some of you, but this six is coming predominantly forward very, very strongly. So your person's thoughts when they last saw you. Now let us start off with this number six. Now as you can see on here, this is your helixes. And I always talk about how you guys will go your separate ways and come back and go your separate ways and come back. And that is what's happening here. So you guys are helixing. You're going, you might feel that you're going your separate ways. Um, you might feel that things are a little bit strained between the two of you or you're a bit distant you will come back together, okay? So even if you are apart, that helixes are going to come back and entwine. You're both seeing things from very different standpoints at the moment, but equally, you both want the same thing from your situation. Now, you might disagree with that because you'll say, well, their actions didn't show us that. Yeah, their actions didn't show you that, but um, it is important that you, you do take note that they have different perspectives on it, even though they want the same thing, they have a very different way of seeing it. And the way that they see it is that they are a little bit freaked out by the whole thing. And um, they can see that a lot of you know that there is more going on here than meets the eye, that this is a more divine connection, that there is this strong, unconditional love between the two of you. And therefore, the energy between the two of you can be very overwhelming. It can be really powerful. Um, so your person even though they have the same ideals of either being together or, or wanting to be together or starting a family, etc, etc, they have this little bit of fear in the background that this is something that they don't really understand, that they can't really control. So they've took a back seat on it and they're saying, right, you know what, let's just see what happens. And that is what their thoughts were when they last saw you, that even though you want the same thing, they have a different perspective on it and they're just going to go with the flow and see what happens between the two of you. Now, this card I love. This is them sneaking in and watching what you are up to. So if uh, they are not on social media or if they have you blocked, please be aware that there is probably fake accounts going on and that they are keeping tabs on you. They are still watching what you are up to. Now they're doing it from a little place where they are guarded and, gui and, and hidden, which is why fake accounts are coming through. But they are really kind of seeing what you're up to, seeing what's going on. Now this bear is also quite a protective symbol. Um, it can be a symbol of, you know, with bears, I always kind of think of that maternal protection energy. And this is them just like wanting to keep tabs on you, see what you're up to, because they're not that they're trying to protect you, but they don't really want anyone else to have you and they really want to see what is going on. So they're definitely watching what you're up to. And this was happening when they last saw you. So they might have said some stuff which was a little bit underhanded or a little bit uncut and they would think that they had reason to say it because they'll have seen something not all of you this is some of you but they will have seen something on your social media like oh you're having a really good time how are you having a good time without me and they might have said a few little underhanded things again it's not all of you it's some of you but they're definitely watching your social media now um they also thought that the love between the two of you was extremely strong um and this is what is frightening them this is why they're scared. You know, um, they're feeling very emotional about the situation, that they want to uh, spread their wings and fly with you, but there is this block which is stopping them. And the block is the energy between the two of you is very, very intense. That is the majority of you, the block that it is. Um, now, this little bird on here is reminding me of a hummingbird. Now, those of you that are from Portugal or Brazil, don't make me say that because I can't remember the song name, but there was this, this beautiful Brazilian uh, song about the flower and the hummingbird and how uh, 
the hummingbird comes down, kisses the flowers, and then flies away, and the flower's like, oh, you left me. And this is kind of coming forward here as well. Your person knows, uh, the song, uh, someone from Portugal or Brazil will write it underneath so I don't have to but the song is very very beautiful kind of made me well up about how this hummingbird came into the life of the flower fell in love with this flower and then and then floated away um, and this flower started saying come back come back and this is the energy that is in your person's thoughts so you guys and your person are this hummingbird flower situation that they are trying to um, move on, move forward, step away, or you guys are trying to move on forward and step away, but you can't. You can't because this is a lot, this is a real love between the two of you. It's a very, very strong love. And simply because you have different perspectives on it, but you're wanting the same thing and you have different perspectives on how to kind of go about it, it doesn't mean that it's not accomplishable. You know, you guys could be together. Um, there is a feeling of sadness and loss here. Feeling quite alone and isolated. Your person was feeling alone and isolated. and But their thoughts towards you when they last saw you is very, very heart-centered love, energy. Sadness kind of coming with it, but this very emotional energy. Um, and your person isn't, they're a little bit afraid to express their emotions, but they're not afraid to feel their emotions. And your person really did feel their emotions when you guys last communicated or saw one another but they just try to keep balanced on it because this energy is really overwhelming and powerful your person doesn't want to let you go your person hasn't let you go they are still watching what you're doing still clinging on hummingbird flower go and have a look uh, I, 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 I wish I could remember Bijour, Bij, Bijours, I can't remember my boyfriend would tell me but I can't remember Okay, their, their feelings towards you. Um, so their feelings towards you when they last met was they were seeing you in this kind of high priestess energy, that you were um, really giving birth to these new beginnings, that you're kind of being guided by this divine energy, being guided by this divine light, um, that you're feeling quite mystical, that you know more than what you are saying, you know more about what is going on than what you have let on. And your person's feeling a little bit mystical about it, you know? Um, this is about, this is your Knight of Cups, this is the heart center energy this is them loving you your person does very 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 much love you and that's what their feelings were they can get freaked out but the love between the two of you is really strong and they are fully aware of that and um, they've been trying to act a little bit more on um, the security stability side of things and this could be why things haven't quite gone the speed that you've wanted or why it is more complicated because they're focusing on stability and security before focusing on love if you guys are not in communication this communication is going to come back in um, and quite quite rapidly and that's where this six came to the forefront um, there is a sense of achievement with their feelings for you as well because they actually feel this is really this is beautiful but spirit saying they actually feel that this is the first time in their life that they've really fallen in love and they are aware that it's something that they are unlikely to find again they try to find that inner peace of it all um but they can't this the kind of a turmoil happening around them and this is why this head this buddha head is kind of stuck in this tree again it's just watching what you're up to seeing what you're doing and even if like like i said this is their feelings and thoughts when they last saw you but since then there is still this kind of watching going on they feel a little bit like i said that there's a sense of achievement feeling a bit smug over the situation um, and the majority of that is because they really have realised that they do love you um, also that they feel that they are the ones that are in control of the situation and that you haven't quite got the same grip but it's it's loadable because they are hopelessly in love with you and they just haven't been very good at what they want from the situation again you want things separate you want the same thing but you want to go about it different ways and um, so the feelings for you when they last saw you um, were very positive you know and even if the situation wasn't positive their feelings for you were that they have fallen in love with you that they could see that there is a future between the two of you and um, that they do want things to work out that they are feeling quite successful that you do kind of frighten them a little bit because you're you're pretty cool on the mystical side of things you're pretty cool um, and it scares them 
but they are the, the love is is really strong really really strong so even if the situation is a little bit shitty at this moment in time it will come back round the love is so strong between the two of you it's not easily going to break um your person is trying has been trying to control the situation because if they control it they have this peace that comes with it but it's not working it's like the universe has said no this is not in your hands this is in our hands um remorse sadness yeah so a lot of loss um but also there's a lot of gain in this deck you know um the two opposites you know there's a great sense of duality in this deck and the spirit is saying with that sense of duality sometimes what your person says and what they what they mean are two separate things so if they've pushed you away it's not really what they're meant to do if they've shouted at you or said something that they didn't mean um or, or said something that was was nasty they didn't really mean that what they say and what they mean can be two separate things which is why you lot are partially quite confused um but the love is there very very strong love um hopeful very hopeful that there is a pathway for the two of you to come together you will have to listen to their perspective on things um and really take on board what they are saying to you um because if they if you don't listen to what they say this could all go quite tits up even if you're not in communication they come back listen to what they're saying really read between the lines because there is reasons with these different perspectives on on how to make it work there are reasons why this situation has kind of gone the way it has or is going the way it is but it isn't because there's a lack of love so it's really important that when they do come back that you both sit down and communicate in the easiest way you can without try not to act on emotions but communicate quite what it is you want logically but also from a standpoint that you know you do want to be with them logical will win very strong love with that number two in their thoughts in their feelings in their emotions and there is definite definite watching two cards of what is what is being that you guys are being watched and um, the other side of things is if your person is with someone else this is coming up in deck number two is still the same energy that they still have this sense of achievement that they realize that you've made them be able to love and um, they still have hope that you guys will come together <clears throat> but they're handling it in kind of different different ways and different perspectives but your person really does love you what they would do is uh, if they could they'd like to make a wish and say okay tomorrow this situation means that the two of us will be together some of them have kind of left it a little bit too late from you guys you're like oh well you know too too little too late um but your person has this, this very very strong love and if you go back to listen to that song someone will find it for you um you'll say very very strong love and remorse missing sadness but the love wow blows your socks off and that is deck number two. Okay guys, so if you want me, I'll put all the details about private readings in the description. Um, I do private readings, I do past life readings, I do development cheating, I do che cheating? Development teaching, I don't do development cheating. Development teaching. Um, I do I do affair readings as well, if you want one of them. Third party readings, that's probably where cheating slipped out my mouth. Um, anything along those lines. Uh, the only things I can't do are finance, legal and health, including pregnancy, because I'm restricted by law. I uh, do manifesting plans I do all sorts it's not all on the internet because I haven't updated the website which I really 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 need to do and um, so if you need me just give me a shout uh, single questions are over email and the response to them is 24 to 48 hours um, turn around for video readings is um, 16 to 20 days because as you can imagine my wait list is big all right guys I am sending you loads of love stay safe stay healthy um, keep strong and I'll speak to you all soon lots of love Bye.